So, uh, yeah, I'm actually playing this. So, uh, yeah, because of a poll on Twitter, I have to play this uh, tank dating simulator, or uh, more like anime tank dating simulator, Panzer Mädels, and uh, yeah, I didn't, I just put it up as a joke option, but, um, well, I guess people wanted to see it, so I'm going to play it. It's like a visual novel kind of thing, it's, uh, I would describe it... Well, I don't know exactly. Uh, from what I've heard, it has some pretty cool military or World War II references, but uh, it's pretty cringe-worthy at parts, which uh, you would expect from an anime dating simulator. And uh, yeah, so uh, this is the main menu. We can get a new game or load game, and uh, I don't have any saves, obviously. And uh, we also have a gallery option, which is kind of concerning, because if it's one of those kind of games, then uh, this video will be... Uh, the monetized quicker than the German army lost in the uh, Soviet Union. Anyway, uh, speaking of Soviet Union, it seems we have a Soviet Union button. I don't know what it does. And this is, it seems, uh, the German menu then with Panzer Mädels, and uh, we've got um, kind of a MIDI sounding version of the Panzer lead in the background. If the game doesn't have background music all through, I'm just gonna maybe throw in some Girls on Panzer uh, tracks in the background. I don't know. Anyway, let's uh, press the Soviet flag and uh, let's see what'll happen. Huh. Well, this is uh, pretty great, but I think I'm gonna stick with the German version. So uh, we've got the uh, we had the option new game comrade, load game comrade, Panzer Mädels Zucker dating simulator. So uh, sorry for the bad Russian accent, but uh, yeah. Anyway, um, if the characters in this game have any accents, uh, accents, then I'll try to pull them off, but uh, it probably won't work. Since uh, And from what I've seen, we're gonna meet a Panzer IV, maybe, Sherman tank? Not sure. Anyway, let's start a new game and, uh, well, uh, ruin the rest of my career, or the rest of my life. I don't know. Let's start this. Leave the dead. The end of war. Prime Minister of Crimea. And suddenly joyful, mu joyful music. Okay. Ugh. What? Yawn. I'm not gonna yawn. So, yawn. Ah, I can't believe I overslept. Danny's going to have my hat for this. Wait. Never mind. It's the first day of class. Oh shit! It's the first day of class. Heading to the city, okay. Our protagonist is named Alwyn, it seems. Could be a reference to Erwin Rommel. So, there's that. Uh, I really should have written down the address. Yeah, you probably should have if you're attending a military school. I have no idea where the hell the school is. Uh, it's also a bad sign if you sign up for the school and have no idea where it is. Uh, anyway. Why did they put a tank school in downtown Akihabara? Anyway. Akihabara? I don't know. I hope I don't have to read Japanese names that often. That uh, would be kind of bad. Have to think of it. I haven't seen any military bases near here either. Well, it doesn't look like a military base. It looks like a city. Hell, I really am going to be late if I can't figure out where I'm going. I should ask for directions. It looks like that mechanics shop is open. Same with the convenience store. I'll ask one of them. Oh, we get we get to choose. Uh, well, I guess if he's looking for a tank school, then probably the mechanic would be better. Well, at least I'd presume so. Maybe the, maybe the mechanic would know where the tankery school is. Yeah, it would make sense, I think. Make your way into the garage of a small mechanic shop. The only thing lighting the room is a warm glow of morning sunlight coming through the garage doors. Suddenly, a young woman in a denim jacket wheels out from under one of the vehicles. Kind of cliche, but alright. Her jacket is covered in motor oil stains. I don't see any on her jacket. Anyway, uh, what are you doing in here? She asks. Oh, wait, uh, do, I, do I have to put on an accent? No, not accent like. What are you doing in here? She asks sternly. I sh anyway, you glance around awkwardly. Yeah, that sounds like me. Sorry, I'm just looking for the army base with a tank school? Her expression changes to a smile, and she wipes the oil off her hands. Name's Michaela. We ain't going to army base here. We ain't got no army base here, though. But the tank school... You question before she cuts you off again. Oh, we got one of those. The tanks are really sweet girls. Uh, I did some work on Panzer IV last week. She's adorable. 
Well, uh, I would also say something like that, but I would say it uh, probably about real tanks, which is kind of concerning, but uh, anyway. You stare confused by her statement. Well, yeah. Who wouldn't? Adorable tanker? Are we talking about the same thing? She ignores you and continues on with her sentence. Yeah, yeah, you're in a hurry. Just go a few more streets. The tank school is a big white building. You can't miss it. She says with a laugh. Ha, ha. We Germans have no humor, so I can't really do a laugh. Anyway. You'll not unthank her quickly before leaving for the school. Tank school. You've been jogging the last few blocks before finally coming to the gates of the school. I don't know why, but I had to think of the Primo Victoria song from Sabaton for the Gates of Hell, because uh, uh, this is probably going to be hell. The building looks uh, unassuming enough, except for the large tank school sign on the front wall, written in some sort of Teutonic font. Well, I guess this is it, you say to yourself as you make your way inside. By the way, I got a new headset, so uh, I don't know if the microphone quality has uh, changed in any way. Write it down in the comments, uh, yeah. As you walk your way through the school halls towards your classroom, something seems amiss. Beyond the tank school sign, nothing about this place looks like it's run by the military at all. No military police at the gate checking papers, no junior officers walking around trying to get saluted out of annoyed sergeants, nothing. Maybe the mechanic was pulling my leg. You keep walking down the hallway before stopping to peer in a, into a classroom through an open door. To you, it looks like any normal Japanese classroom. The desks are aligned in neat rows, and nothing about the room would lead you to believe that this is a place that has anything to do with the military. Um, by the way, I have to record this like in the middle of the night, because in uh, northern Germany, where I live, it's currently like uh, 20, no, 30 degrees Celsius, and uh, um, during the day I would probably die a horrible heat death, instead I'm dying a cringy death. French death. Anyway, and if I was doing this during the day, I'd probably get uh, disowned from my family if they saw me playing this, so, uh, well, there's that. What the hell have I gotten myself into, you mutter to yourself before stepping back uh, into the hallway. Oh, well, here's room 2C. This is what, I sa what it said on the paper. This must be it, I guess. You open the door. Yeah, I didn't know this was a horror game. Uh, I'm going to voice this guy. You're late for class, maggot. I'm going to imagine him like Soldier from TF2, so... Uh, yeah, if he doesn't have any chopped off heads on a fence, uh, well then I'm going to be disappointed. You're late for class, maggot. A tall man dressed in marine drill sergeant uniform shouts at you before uh, you are even halfway through the door. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Don't you sir me, maggot. I work for a living. Gunny sergeant, I mean. Have you forgotten how to address a senior non-commissioned officer, maggot? Sergeant, this is a recruit. I'm sorry for being late, but this recruit was lost and had to ask for directions, sergeant. The sergeant's opened his mouth to shout again. The classroom door opens. I'm for Sherman, so this is uh, the American uh, tank in a very big quote. Oh, no, if I, if I see the sentence, I'm already... Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna pull off an American accent because I have no idea how to do that. Uh, well. Hey, senpai. Oh, God. Hmm. Shaman, you're late again. Sorry, senpai. I couldn't find my armored skirts in this morning. <coughs> <coughs> hmm. No excuses, shaman. Take your seats. This means you too, recruit. He says, looking back at you. Plus, shaman and our new recruit are volunteering for cleaning detail this afternoon. Senpai? Uh, I, I know people from my school watch uh, my channel sometimes, so uh, I guess there is... Uh, well, uh, if I wasn't already being bullied, then uh, I'm surely going to be bullied now. Two afternoons. Hi, <laughs> Sergeant. Best job I've ever had. Best job I've ever had, the rest of the class replies in unison. You and Sherman take your seats at the back of the class, and the drill sergeant continues with his lesson. Fire support doctrine, you hear a whisper to your right. Psst, new guy. Psst, what's your name? 
Aaron, you whisper back. What? What? What are you doing here? A ta at tank school? That's what I want to know. I'm supposed to be studying tank warfare at an officer's academy, but all of you are just like high schoolers. Well, duh. We're tanks. W what? Tanks? Didn't you read the sign out front? Tank school is pretty obvious. Yeah, but I thought it was tank school, like normal. No, it's tank school for tanks. See, this is the reason why I wouldn't... I'm, I'm going to stop complaining and just get over with this. Uh, the next video is, by the way, going to be War Thunder VR, because uh, I need to shoot something after this. And also um, some other VR videos, because I got VR working on my main PC, and that means I can record it now. Yeah. Anyway, let's uh, continue on with this. I'm going to stop complaining now, unless it's something really bad. <clears throat> That makes absolutely no sense. Yeah, I have to agree with Owen on that one. Cut the chatter back there, recruits. Don't worry, I'll introduce you to... <clears throat> Sorry, I have to read Shaman Tank. Don't worry, I'll introduce you to everyone at lunch, she whispers before going back to doodling on her desk. Oh boy. This is going to be a weird day. I really hope I'm at the right place. Command will give me hell if they think I went to A W O L. I have no idea what that means. Anyway. A few hours later. It's probably almost lunchtime. At the sound of the bell, all of the tanks in the classroom start unpacking their lunch bags and heading into the hall. Shannon again. New guy, follow me. I'll show you where the mouse hall is, she shouts excitedly from across the hall as she starts skipping away. A shorter girl to your right looks at you and frowns. Oh. First kind of looked like Natsuki from uh, Doki Doki Literature Club, but uh, apparently this is a T-34. <clears throat> well, uh, I don't know if I can pull off a Russian girl accent, so I'm just going to go with a Russian accent. Uh, you'll be sitting with us today. Great, she says as she rolls her eyes and follows Sherman down the hallway. You walk into the school's mess hall and already there's tons of students sitting at various tables together. So, uh, do you think these people agreed to be in this game? I mean, their faces are blurred out, but this is probably like some Shutterstock photo and they blurred out the people. Do you think this this guy on the left in the white hoodie there, way to the left, do you think he agreed to be in this? I don't think so. Anyway, um, on the far side of the room you see Sherman and a few other girls chatting. As soon as she sees you, she jumps up. Hey, new guy over here! You walk over to the group of girls, one by one, Shaman brings you, uh, bleh. one by one, Shaman begins to introduce you, sorry, uh, I'm kind of dying inside. Owen, meet Panzer 4. Hiya, I'm a junior here and, uh, <coughs> oh, sorry, yeah, it's Panzer 4, it's German tank. Hiya, I am a junior here and I am from Germany, she, sa uh, she says with a wink. And you're a tank too? Of course, I am the Panzerkampfwagen 4 Ausführung F2, but my friends just call me Panzer 4, she giggles. And this little cutie here is T th And this little cutie here is T34 Chan, Sherman says, pulling on the pink haired girl's sleeve. Got it out, Sherman. <laughs> oh come on, T Chan. <clears throat> uh, hi, I'm Tankovie 43, 34. But everyone just calls me T-34, except Sherman. That's right, she's our little T-Chan. I'm not that short. Okay, how am I supposed to read this? Uh, am I going to... They're both saying it at the same time. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do, so... Shut up and both, both of us. us. Sherman and Panzer feel love in unison. It's obvious that this isn't the first time they've had this discussion. Wait, so if you're Panzer 4 and T-34, don't you two... We used to ha we used to have our differences, but we got over it, right, T-34? She says, nodding T-34 to speak. Right, who needs European hegemony in Crimea anyway, huh? Sherman quickly cuts her off. Well, as close to over as it can get, she says, poking them both in the ribs. So then, everyone here is a tank. Yep, well, except for the teachers and you, she says, embarrassed. I'm beginning to think this is some sort of joke. It seems normal to me, she smiles. 
Well, yeah, but you're a tank and and a girl. Yeah, this is probably why. Uh, uh, anyway, um, I said I'm gonna stop complaining, so I'm stopping to complain. Anyway, by the way, nice reference. Uh, that was with T34 and Panzer IV not liking each other because Russian and German tanks don't like each other. And uh, yeah, it's a joke. I think everyone gets it. I still don't even know why I'm here. I was supposed to be studying armored warfare, not how to be a tank. Go ask Gunny Sergeant Hartman. He is so kawaii. <laughs> Even if he seems a little meanie. I don't think I have ever heard a sergeant called Kawai. Let's go together, come on, she says as she grabs you by the hand. So gonna get bullied for recording this, I just hope. Uh, anyway. Follow me, Evan. We can talk to her, sergeant. I don't know, he doesn't really seem like the uh, talking type. Is anyone else here? Maybe I misread that. He just seems grumpy, but he's actually really sweet. What are you talking? Are we talking about the same person? We're talking about the same person, right? It's only because he was in the war. Desu. Wait, he was? As you speak, the sound of a tank motor stalling suddenly roars behind you. Ah, look out. So it seems we died, and... Uh, oh, well... Well, I was hoping we died anyway. Uh, it looks like we didn't die, and uh, the game will continue. So, um, yeah, uh, I probably have to split this into multiple parts, actually, and this is, uh, well, kind of bad. Anyway, um, let's continue this. I don't know who's if what kind of tank this is, so I'm just going to naturally read it without uh, putting on a bad accent. Uh, I'm sorry. Is he okay? What? You really need to be more careful, you almost crushed him. I know, senpai. I broke down again and I couldn't stop. So it's tank that breaks down, let me guess. It's uh, tanks that break down often. It's probably maybe a German tank with a transmission problem. So maybe the Ferdinand? I'm guessing Ferdinand. That might not be a good girl's name. Anyway, um, it's okay, he's gonna be alright. Just don't push yourself so hard, okay? Hi, hi. Uh, uh. Senpai, he's waking up. Okay, I'm um, no. I have to read this. I don't know. Anyway, it's an ass. Yeah, it's an ass. Looks like you took quite a fall there. What? Where, where, where am I? Don't worry, you're quite all right. What? How? What happened to me? Oh, Tiger One. Okay, so it's Tiger One. Yeah, that tank also had transmission problems, but uh, well, the Ferdinand probably had other problems than trans. Probably every problem there was in the Ferdinand anyway. Um, oh, Tiger One had a little slip up, her transmission jammed again. You know, you really shouldn't wear the helmet on when you're around tanks. Didn't you read the field manual? Field manual? Never mind, anyway. Tiger One, come over here. He looks well enough to see you. Okay, so German accent again. Yeah, we Germans are good at not saying anything, especially when it comes to jokes and humor. Yeah, I'm sorry for running you over. She looks really sad, I should probably say something. Uh, well, uh, am I going to give a different voice than uh, Panzer IV? I'm getting too invested in this, I'll just read it in a German accent, maybe... I don't know. Oh, I get to I get to choose something. Um, I'm just gonna ask who these people are, I honestly don't care what they what they think of my injuries. Um, wh who are you? I'm the school's mechanic, but for you today, I'm the nurse. And this girl is Tiger One, she's Panzer IV's cousin. The blonde girl blushes red and her lips start to quiver. Ah, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean... It's just... Look, I'm really alright. <coughs> See? Yeah, that's basically me. Look, I'm really alright. Then someone says something like kawaii or desu and I'm like... <coughs> yeah. You say balancing with one foot on the ground and the other resting against your bed. So basically we got run over by a Tiger tank and we're still alive. I don't think... Uh, wait, let me look, let me look something up. Uh, up uh. Tiger one tank. Panzerkampfwagen 6 Tiger and it weighed 57 tons. So, uh, yeah, no, I don't think I would be this alright being run over by a 57 pound tank, but... Uh, a ton tank. I'm not really sure how this physically even works. I mean, uh, 
this girl doesn't look that obese to me that she would weigh uh, 75, 57 tons? 75. What? Uh, anyway, um, I'm bad with numbers and it's pretty late in the night. Anyway. As the girl starts to you, look at the nurse worriedly. What was that? Tag one breaks down a lot. You might want to let me handle this from here. Why don't you take a rest and uh, the rest of the day off? So yeah, Tiger One. The Tiger One had some transmission problems. That's true. Uh, sure, I'll see myself out. Uh, you stay as you pry the triangle off of you. You walk into the school hallway and take a moment to catch up your thoughts. I don't want to play this game. And um, um what kind of place is this? You mutter when you notice a girl stand uh, staring at you from behind the corner of the wall. She ducks back around the corner as soon as you look at her. Um, hello? Is anyone there? She peeks her head back out, blushing red and looking very shy. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you the new boy? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess I am. Well, I wanted to ask you something, if that's okay. Uh, sh sure. So that's an ice, too. Fucking thing. I hate that thing in War Thunder, it always. Uh, anyway. I hate fighting the... I mostly play with the German tree, so uh, I really dislike IS-2 tanks, so uh, if if there's the option... Well, this is a tank dating simulator, so I'm guessing we'll have to date a tank later on, and I'm not gonna pick IS-2 because fuck the Russian buyers in War Thunder. Oh, sh again, horror game moment number two. Well, have you ever been inside... Uh, wait. <clears throat> well, have you ever been inside of a tank? Um. So, uh, what should I answer here? Um. I feel like this is some um, underlying meaning when these girls are tanks and, um, well, I gotta be honest. Uh, no, I never have. Well, then why are you playing this game? Game? This game where you wait to ask me if I wanted to get a drink with you. Yeah, no, I actually kind of gotta go because you're an IS-2 tank and, uh, no. Come on, please. Hell no. I said no, jeez. Oh, I'm okay. I, uh, well, I'm okay. I'll leave. She walks down the hallway, sullenly disappearing around the corner. God, what a nut you mutter to yourself before heading home. Uh, that could be out of context moment. Um, yeah, I see I'm recording for 24 minutes. It's already like uh, I'm, I've already wasted 24. I skipped some dialogue. Anyway, I don't think anyone particularly cares about that, so... Uh, yeah, I was just leaning back in my chair and wondering why I wasted already wasted 24 minutes of my precious lifetime. I'll never get back on this, but... Uh... <clears throat> what a weird girl, you mutter to yourself as you fumble with your keys. She was sweet, but damn, something's up with her. You open the front door and go upstairs to your room. You sit on your bed and take your shoes off one by one. I don't even know. I mean, I, I, could she have been more f any more forward? God, I'm probably going to have to see her at school tomorrow, though. Ugh. I need to figure out what her deal is. Hell, what any of this tank school stuff is. I can't exactly ask the sergeant, and uh, Sherman wasn't much help. Wait, the nurse mentioned the manual. I bet there's a surplus store in town with all that stuff. I'll go there tomorrow, and uh, they've got to know something at least. And I think this is uh, probably where I'm going to end it. And uh, so, yeah, there's a save button, empty slot here. Okay, so. This is where I'm going to end it this time. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed my suffering. And if you did, uh, I hope, please leave a like. I need it. And uh, if you want me to play more of this, I'm probably going to have to make a full playthrough of this anyway. Because Twitter poll and all of that. And I need video ideas. So um, yeah, I hope you're happy with this. I, I, I'm certainly not happy with this. Or at least not okay with this. Anyway, um. If you enjoyed it, then um, write it in the comments, leave a like or whatever, and uh, I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do now, but I'm not going to continue playing this game.